Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. We're in the Dolphin Bookshop, and tonight we're really excited to have Sharon Salzberg who is an author of many books, and the recent one, which is called Real Happiness, which is a kind of introduction to very accessible meditative techniques and ways of incorporating meditation into your everyday life. Not an esoteric thing, or you have to go off to do it. You can just have it any moment. If you could sit as comfortably as you can, see if your back can be straight without being strained or overarched. There's a balance right there. We want some energy. As a sophomore in college, I took a course in Asian philosophy, and that's where I heard about the Buddhist teaching, and it's where I heard about the possibility of meditating. And so I created an independent study project. I said, I want to go to India and study meditation, and it being 1970, they said, okay. So off I went, and I, I actually began meditating in January of 1971. So I've had a lot of people come to me and say, you know, I tried that meditation thing, and..." Um, I didn't really think anything was happening, and so I decided to stop, and then my kids came to me and said, please don't stop. A response I hear, I tried that once and I failed at it, and that's what concerns me. And so that's a lot of what I devote my energy to, uh, because we can't fail at it. We just have different ideas and expectations. It means changing our relationship to all of our experiences, not kind of having just a, a very small band of experience. And so I really like to think of my efforts as trying to help create that kind of clarity. This is America. So everyone's going to want to know, what's the least amount of time I can put into meditation <laughs> and still get a real significant change in my brain? I do suggest carving out a certain amount of time each day because I think it's the everydayness of it more than anything. It doesn't have to be a huge period of time. It could be 20 minutes, and maybe you start out with five and you build toward 20 minutes. But if you can make it a regular part of your day, then I think it will have tremendous effects in your life. I just found that fascinating, because look at that range. 10 minutes to half an hour. No one is saying, you've got to do this 15 hours a day. Thich Nhat Hanh, the Vietnamese Zen teacher, has this wonderful exercise that he recommends where he says, don't pick up the phone on the first ring. Let it ring three times and breathe. Then you pick it up. And if we can do that, it really, amazingly, changes the whole momentum of our day. The breath is really like the foundational exercise, and then we, we apply some of that same balanced, spacious awareness to a lot of things that come up. Well, I understand the skepticism, and I think it's worth being skeptical, actually, but it, it's not something that is going to be resolved through thinking about it. Ultimately, it's going to be resolved through giving a shot, you know, like make an experiment and just see. It doesn't have to be a lifetime commitment, but if you say, okay, I'm going to try this every day for a month, something like that. Mm -hmm.